have actually an interesting conversation yesterday with a friend who came and said, oh, I got this really good property with an amazing price. And, and when she told me the price, it was in Dubai Marina. I said, well, that's really good. The market, mm. you know, it's really hot right now. I thought she was getting a good deal. But as she was talking about how amazing the property is, she said the magic words, she said, and it had an amazing balcony. And then I asked her, did you check how much is the service charge for this apartment? He said, no, the broker didn't give me this information. I said, you know what, before you go ahead, give the broker a call, get the number and call me back. And then she calls me a little bit upset saying, well, it's a hundred thousand service charge because apparently the balcony is huge. So mm -hmm. my question is why the service charges include also the, the balconies? Um, interesting. The service charges actually don't include we don't charge service charges on the full size of the balcony. Correct. We take 25% of the size of the balcony into the service, into the service charges. And this is so it's not recent full... rule or it's been like this for? It's been like that for about 40 years. Now. Okay. Yeah. It was a, a new practice that was introduced by the real estate regulatory agency. And that is to accommodate for apartments that have large balconies or sure. over, overly large balconies. But it's still yeah. the value. This was a two bedroom in Dubai Marina. You know, the service mm. charge cost was coming to over, yeah. obviously he had a very large balcony, but it was coming to 100,000, which made the investment not so interesting. So yeah. obviously it's important that people, when they're looking for properties with a huge uh, area to, to find mm. out what the number is to make sure yeah. it's, it's, it's correct. Yeah.